Hi, my name is Adrienne Charles, and I'm interested in news. I want to be a part of your team, and I would love for you to consider me. There's so much going on in our world today, so I got news that I can bring to you. You can contact me at 972-897-0802. And you can also contact me by email at LadyAdrianCharles at gmail.com. I'm looking forward to being a part of your team with News Today. Hello, I'm Adrian Charles with News Today. And today we're talking about the solar eclipse that happened on April 8, 2024. We had international travelers traveling in to watch this event. People were coming from everywhere waiting to see the solar eclipse. It came through and we had darkness for about four minutes and after that, light returned. There have been people complaining of complications with minor headaches after the solar eclipse. We will not have another solar eclipse for a couple of years. Hello, I'm Adrian Charles with News Today, and we're going to be talking about O.J. Simpson. Unfortunately, we lost him on April 10th, and he lost his battle with cancer. He was born in 1947, and he was an American football player and an actor. He played for the Buffalo Bills, and he was with us in the Buffalo Bills for 11 seasons. He was a great running back and he was inducted in the Hall of Fame in 1985. He leaves behind four children and possibly more. Our condolences to the family of O.J. Simpson. Of our life, very important. It is an everyday process. You know, even during this time of the holidays where we know we're gonna do all this eating, you know, and, and do, do, do y'all not realize that every holiday these hospitals are full because folks is overeating, they heart attack stuff, they know they ain't got no business, and they think because they got the medication, well, I can eat this and the medication will cover it, but I mean, you can only do so much eating for the medication don't even work anymore. But I do want to say to the public that we got to uh, really change our eating habit and our nutrition. A lot of us as a black people, <coughs> it is so important for us to be on a vitamin D because we ain't out in the sun like we need to be. Vitamin D is really a, a good healer for our body as a black people. But because we're not getting enough sun, <coughs> we need to be on a vitamin D. And a lot of black people are deficient in vitamin D. So I now we're going to be talking about what kind of sense should we be having? Oh my God. And then the next question uh, that I got is, what kind of sex between a husband and a wife? And is there limitations on sexual behaviors? Now, the person that sent these questions out to me, I sure hope you're watching Hot Topics with Lady C so that you can get your question answered. Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in with Hot Topics with Lady C. Today we're going to have news today, talking about a couple of different topics on today. And I want to ask that you will tune in, let everyone know that, hey, Hot Topics with Lady C is now on the air. Once again, glad for y'all to be tuning in. And we're going to first start talking about, we're in the month of October. So much is going on for the month of October. We know that this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so we want to just uh, tell you to make sure that you're telling every female in your family to make sure that they have their breast exams, that they're checking their cells, and that the ladies are taking care of themselves. Look, it doesn't matter how old you are, if you are a female and you have breasts, you need to start having your own self-checks and checking yourself and going to have your uh, breast exams on a regular basis with the doctors. Now as we get going, tune in, get your family to tune in, get your kids, because uh, we got Brett in here, and we're going to have some kids' conversations today. So try to get the whole family to be a part today on this show. Also, uh, get your husband, because we know the men are the least, and these men is going through. 
Times is changing, society is different, and I'm telling you, these men are going through stuff today. So if you got a husband, you got a brother, you got a son, get these men online to join Lady C with Hot Topics of today. Now I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Brandon, and I want Brandon to kind of talk to us about when life fights you, how he's fighting that. To just encourage people, because folks are going through, people are dealing with stuff. I mean, folks are going through everywhere, no matter what state you in, what city you in, or even country, people are going through. I go, I'm going through dealing with some things, but I'm coming online to just encourage you to hold on. Help is on the way. And I know we've been hearing that for years. People, you know, they, they say that in church. Hold on, help is on the way. And sometimes when they're telling us, hold on, help is on the way, sometimes the enemy may have his foot on your neck. Left of me, I have Mr. Greg that is joining us on today. Uh, I have uh, Prophetess Yolanda Tarver that's joining me today. I have Pastor Keith that's joining me today here to my right. And then I have Prophetess Sophia that is joining me to the right. And so we're going to start from the end all the way around. They're going to introduce themselves, tell them who they are and they're going to say what they represent and we're going to get right into our hot topic. Stay tuned in because we got some hot communication today. Let's get started with Prophetess Sophie. Um, well, I'm, as you said, I'm Prophetess Sophia Edwards. Um, I have a prayer ministry, which is um, prayers, encounters, prayer ministry. Um, I've been doing it for maybe five years now, and my husband and I have a ministry, uh, Outpour Fellowship Ministry. Hello, I'm uh, Pastor James Keith, uh, former pastor of the Mount Moriah Baptist Church uh, for seven years in Milford, Texas. Uh, we have just recently launched Damascus Road Ministries. Uh, that ministry is a ministry where we preach and teach uh, Bible-based doctrine. Uh, we also have marriage enrichment, single enhancement as well, and we just try to uh, uh, give a word for the total body of man uh, in a day that the whole word is needed for the whole man. Hi, my name is uh, Prophet Yolanda Tavern, and I uh, am the founder of Dove Diamonds Ministry. Uh, I do weekly Bible studies uh, weekly, uh, teaching people from all denominations. They're not exactly uh, a part of my ministry, and there are those that are part of my ministry and other ministries. I've also birthed Hidden Voices podcast, which will be coming soon, and also I birthed uh, Walk, Talk, and Pray ministry. Uh, so stay tuned to uh, see me in the near future. I'm Brother Jackson. I am representing the Truth. Jackson. And then we have uh, Brother Patrick. I'm going to have to have him take a seat. He's joining us today. Amen. If he would introduce himself. God bless you, people of God. Amen. Uh, just glad to be here today. It's a wonderful day on this great and joyous occasion, people of God. Amen. I'm just great to be here a part of this great occasion. I thank God for First Lady Charles, amen, who's the great angel and host for this great uh, organization here. Amen. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really glad to be here. It's a great and joyous, amazing, wonderful occasion with the great other amazing, great saints today. Thank y'all for having me, and God bless First Lady Charles again. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, today as we get started, as I said, with this great, great group of people, y'all, I'm excited today. I'm Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Charles of the Surviving the Time Ministries, and we're located in Haslett, Texas, off of 556 Rancho Canyon Drive. I'm coming to you today to present to you the first Woman's Retreat Annual that will be taking place July 22nd and 23rd. The cost is $150 for each lady, and the $150 will cover your food and your lodging. We will have games. We will have informative information. We have a doctor that's coming to speak with us on women's health, and we will also have hot topic discussions. July 22nd and 23rd are the days for the woman's retreat. Hi. 
This is Hot Topics News Today with Adrian Charles. And we are here at the Pan African Store here in the sunny south part of Oak Cliff. And we are here with the owner of the store, which is Miss Apoite. Apoite Tayoba. And uh, this is the store. And so we come to this store today to bring information unto y'all about health products. We know there are so many things out there today. But I specifically wanted to bring a product to everyone's attention. And it is the Sour Sock Bitter. I came to her store and I started taking this product. I was dealing with just low energy, diabetes, and even some high blood pressure. And when I started taking this product, the, my nails, you know, the doctors say you can tell the sickness by your fingernails. However, I got my nails done and you can't see my original nails. But they used to be dark. And I noticed when I started taking this product that my nails began to get lighter and lighter and lighter. Thank you for tuning in with Lady C here at the Millennium of Redbird. And today we're celebrating the Christmas party and the giveaway. And we got so many extraordinary human beings that are with us today that is representing this as well. And we're going to introduce them. And we're going to first start out introducing Jeanette, which is the CEO of the OCC Living. This is Jeanette. We also want to introduce Kim Parker of Management that's representing the property. And she's also a realtor and deals with real estate. If you need some homes and somewhere to live, I tell you, Miss Kim Parker is the lady that you need to contact. We also have with us DP, DPD, the community officer, starting with our sergeant. Sergeant Senior Corporal Young. Senior Corporal Cross. Officer Jordan. Officer Frank. With us today that celebrate, they are the community officers. And you know what? We're living here in Dallas, Texas. It is a pleasure to have our officers that is backing us as protect and serve. Also, we have with us is Pam Withers that's representing the Cowboys Connection for the club. Did you say so, Miss? <laughs> Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming out and showing support for the young youth um, community. Um, River, Palladium, OCC, Miss Jeanette, um, all the volunteers, as well as Star Standards Dallas. All right, how about them cowboys? <laughs> you know, we're going to have to keep praying for these cowboys and for Terry Jones, but hey! They represent us here in Dallas, Texas. And also, the lady that is standing behind me in the red, she came ready, so beautiful, is Miss D. I want to introduce her today as well as the management of the Millennium Apartments here in Redbird in Dallas, Texas. Wow. <laughs> and so, uh, as you see, we're, we're getting set up. We got things that are out that we're going to serve them with food, drinks, little gifts, and everything. Uh, mothers are coming with their children, and we are going to have some awesome interviews that's going to be represented here today. But we do have a great show for you today. Historical. Talk to the people and tell them who you are. Well, most people in Dallas know me as from my stage name, and that's Meatball. And if you've been in Dallas and listened to KKDA or Heaven 97, you know Robert Ashley called me the residential scholar. I teach ancient history and I teach esoteric knowledge. There are two types of knowledge, one esoteric and one exoteric. Hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in <coughs> with Hot Topics with Lady C. I am your host today. And today we're going to be talking about some things that's going on here in Dallas, Texas. Today I have a guest with us, such a phenomenal woman. We have Jeanette with us over here at the Millennium here in Dallas, Texas. And I'm going to let her introduce herself and we're going to talk about some things that she is doing in the community. At this time, I would like for y'all to meet Miss Jeanette. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. My name is Jeanette Berry president of OCC Living here at Palladium Redbird, where we offer supportive services for the residents of Redbird and also the residents in the community of the Redbird and Oakland area. All right, well, Ms. Jeanette, I think that's such an awesome thing that you're doing here at the Palladium. 
Plus, I was able to kind of walk through here. It's a nice place. I don't know how many people know that this place is here, Miss Jeanette, but I'm interested in knowing how long is your wedding list here? About 250 people. 250 people waiting to get here at the Palladium. So also as I begin to sort here at my left with Captain Lemuel, that's right here. Uh, he's part of the Hebrew Israelites. He's in today. It's going to be discussing the Hebrew Israelites. We also have Brother Tariq here that's to my right that is representing the Islam brothers. And then also I have Officer Yakub that's sitting here to the left that's going to be reading for us. And whatsoever he may come up with, he'll be able to do that as well. Then we also have Brother Patrick here to our right that's representing Christianity. So once again, we got three doctrines that we're getting ready to go into. Miss Adrian Charles has been a motivational speaker for 20 plus years. She has volunteered for agencies in DFW such as the Salvation Army, Food Pantry, and many other nonprofit groups. She has produced seminars and meetups in North Texas for 10 plus years. Ms. Charles has helped tens of thousands of people in the DFW to statewide. One of her main objectives as a motivational speaker is to strengthen the family which enhances the community and makes the city and state a better place to live, work, and play. Even on her job as an administrator and supervisor, she gives great advice to her subordinates. Feel free to contact Ms. Adrienne Charles at 972-897-0802 or by email at ladyadriancharles at gmail.com. She is ready to join your team.